This weekend marks 37 years since two sisters disappeared in Mesa. It's a case Maricopa County Sheriff's say has had no solid leads for decades, but they are not giving up. Our Heather Moore is live with de details on this case. Heather? Well, seeing the year was 1974, sheriff's reports were handwritten back then, and that is when two young teenage girls left their home in Mesa and were never seen again. After all of this time, though, detectives have not given up on finding those girls, and neither has their mother. Seems kind of like a nightmare that has no end. Irma Prue has suffered decades of heartache. On July 31st, 1974, her daughters vanished from Mesa without a trace. It seems like it's still kind of upsetting to talk about it. 15-year-old Cynthia Leslie and her 13-year-old sister Jackie left their mobile home on 87th Place and Baseline, where 37 years later is now a private gated community. My mother said the phone rang and Cindy answered the phone and she left a note saying that she'd gone to babysit. Maricopa County Sheriff's detectives say no one knows who called that day, but the sisters never came back. Their father was dying of cancer, and no one believed they ran away. They loved their dad very much. They didn't uh, take any items with them. They left their personal belongings, their purses, all their clothes at their house. They likely went to a birthday party. One witness says they were seen there with a boy, who sheriffs say checked out. Other witnesses, though, say the girls never made it to that party. However, an item belonging to one of the girls was found at the house. This family, I think, knows what happened to them. The sheriff's office has received dozens of leads over the years, but all of them went nowhere. <laughs> They say the case of the missing Leslie sisters from Mesa is still active. There is obviously someone out there that knows what happened to these girls, and hopefully it's just going to be a matter of time till we contact that person and figure out what happened. That's what I'm, I'm praying for, that, that someone will give some information of what happened to them, if they know anything. And Maricopa County Sheriff's Detectives gave us this number for anyone who might have even the smallest piece of information that can help. It is 602-876-1011. They say you can say you have information about the case. If you wish, you can remain anonymous. They say as long as this case is open and being worked, there is always hope this family will have some kind of resolution. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Heather Moore, CBS 5 News.